Hi, my name is Daniela Venables, and I am doing my reflection blog from my persuasive speech. First of all, I did my persuasive speech on um, how everybody should have experience in the restaurant industry. The purpose of my speech was to talk everybody into getting some type of experience, not too long, but experience in the restaurant industry to know how it works. Um, how did I feel going into the speech I would have to say I was a little nervous, but I did get through it, especially since um, I have credibility going into the speech, everybody knowing that I do work in the restaurant industry and how I proved that I was a host and a food runner and all of the different types that you can be in a restaurant industry, including server. Um, with that, um, I had great ethos because... Um, I'm going to go to chapter 14 on page um, 105, right where it says credibility or the ability of a person to inspire belief or trust in a person. I can say that everybody in my audience had trust or belief in me because I am a worker in the restaurant industry and I have done every um, step that I did explain. And I had the initial credibility because everybody knew beforehand of the speech, just like initial credibility is your audience knowing that you have ethos before going in. Um, my, for my technology, um, I feel like I was very well prepared. Um, I had a great camera with great um, audio accessibility and quality. Um, I didn't see anything wrong with that, at least. Um, had no problems. Everything worked out pretty well. Um, for the structure and organization, I felt really natural going into my introduction and conclusion. Um, I felt like I knew what I was talking about. I knew my main points so I could state them. Just what really felt odd were, of course, the transitions. Like I felt in the informative speech, um, repeating myself over and over is just feels odd to me instead of just being able to say what I need to say. But it still worked out pretty well. Um, for my audience, I considered everybody to be looking into the restaurant industry to be seeing if it's the right fit for them, which honestly is the right fit for anybody. Anybody can just try it out for a little bit just to see how it goes. If it's not really the right fit, you can always just stop. Um, my audience responded very well. They seemed pretty re um, persuaded on each thing that I went over, like the food running host and um, expo and server and bartender, like anybody can do either one. So if server is not for you, can be a food runner, host, however it works. Um, I felt the strongest with my persuasive speech when I was uh, stating about serving. I haven't hosted or food ran in a while. So when I was talking about serving, I felt like I had a lot more knowledge at the time for it, especially since I just served the day before and was going back to work afterwards. So mm -hmm. I felt a lot more persuasive with that. Um, for my logos in the presentation, I'd have to say I had pretty great logos because I went into the order where I started with the host and then I went to the food runner and the expo and then I went to server bartending and then I went to the benefits. It was a great chronological order with how the restaurant industry works. Um, in my speech, uh, what really worked out was my introduction and my conclusion, which I felt most comfortable with, like I said before. What didn't work so well um, was definitely the transitions. Like I said, I didn't like repeating myself, so I might have forgotten a few times. And what I definitely could have improved on was um, the one step, two step, three step, going from right center to the left was a little awkward for me, so I could have improved on that with my transitions as well. Um, so, like I said, um, from chapter 14, that's probably the best thing that I could have read um, for my persuasive speech because I did have that initial credibility, and I knew to make sure to um, work on that in my persuasive speech as well. Okay, and that's my reflection blog. Thank you.